everyone, welcome to Flights and Fabrics. My name is Sibire and today's topic is about fine dining. Um, and I know that most of us know the basic, but we want to level up as usual. So that's why we are here with all of this and I am going to slowly go through it with you. See, we have now learned how to dress right, you know, um, look nice, look fancy. So now we're about to have a fancy dinner and we want to finesse it, right? If it is more like of a fancy, uh, uh, fine dining and there is a lot on the table and you don't know what to do I am here to help you out because at any given point of time you want to show that you know the etiquettes of um, a fine dining we're so lucky in this world that we have so many different cultures in different places and and different ways of enjoying fine dining this is the um, uh, this is the Western way of doing it and since I live in Scandinavia and we do use this setting This is what I'm gonna take a uh, part in showing you all um, So meaning that if you're fine dining in Asia or you if you're fine dining in, in Africa Maybe it won't be the same, but it's always nice to have a sense of awareness of uh, the kind of invitation you've gotten whether it's a date whether it's a, a, an invite for fine dining with a queen whether it's with your friends whatever I am here to help you out all right so let's get started all right so we are going to go through um, the entire setting so we can finesse our um, our dinner so we are going to start on the right side of the table where you will always find your knives and your glasses in the center of the table you will find your plate and some other cutlies that I'm going to explain later and then on the left side of the table you'll find your your forks and your uh, bread uh, bread plate if so let's go back to this side we have all these glasses in front of us and we want to figure out which to use for what so let's start with this one this is a red wine glass and you can tell because it's always uh, the shortest uh, glass form and it's always um, very it's short in, in, in its height like this but it's also large it's always the largest glass on the table this is a white wine glass um, Normally, at the, uh, most of the time, it's the you know it's the length is always longer than the red wine glass, but it's m much um, slightly smaller uh, than the red wine glass, and you can tell the difference, of course, at any table at any table settings. If you have these two glasses, always see the size. So the large one is for the uh, red wine, and the less um, the petite is for your. Um, your white wine right and then we have the champagne glass which is a bit deep and uh, elongated um, this is mainly because it has to keep your bubbles bubbling while you're still drinking your favorite champagne all right and then we have the water glass which will remain on your table regardless because you're going to have water during the dinner now next up we have uh knives over here we have two different knives uh we have the knife that is farthest away from the plate which is your salad knife and we have the uh the knife that is it's closest to the plate, it, which is your main course meal knife. Now, most of the time, if you're about to have steak or uh, something that you where you really have to use like a, a knife that will cut through, it will be a different knife. But most of the time, it's just you know this is your main course knife. So the 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 one that is farthest away from your uh, plate is your salad knife, and the one that is closest to your plate is your main course uh, meal um, knife. All right and then we have the center which is your uh, plate as uh, where you'll be served your main course and then we have some spoons here this spoon 
uh, which is a soup spoon that you will also use if your you, your your next meal is a uh, soup. So you will have your soup spoon here, and it will always turn this way, so you can always take it and place it here. All right, and then you have your dessert spoon, dessert spoon which is also uh, placed in the center of your. Um, your table settings so and it's for you to just place around here all right now on the left side of the table we have I have some napkin I have some fork your salad fork which is furthest uh, away from your main course plate and then we have the main course um, fork that is closer to the plate so it will go like this you will eat your um your salad with the furthest uh cut leaf uh from your table and then you have your main course with the with the closest cut leaf to the plate um, and then we have your a plate for your bread and um, the bread is served on the table you simply take a, a, a piece of bread put it on this plate and then use the knife that is also um, a part of the the, the whole um, setup to just butter your um, your bread and enjoy your bread normally the the butter knife is quite, uh, it looks quite different and it's much smaller it's maybe sometimes the size of the dessert spoon but since I do not do that kind of fancy uh, dinners just yet I, I just use my normal knife but so that's the setting um, all right so we want to take the napkin that is placed right in front of us and we would take it out fold it like this and then put it on our lap a little trick that I've learned over the years is to uh, take your napkin, fold it in two so the inner part is facing upwards and that's for you to uh, clean your fingers if they're greasy or dirty because you're touching things around the table, especially food. So you, you want to clean and wipe your fingers so they stay clean um, and that's what you do. You tap it around and then fold it back and your napkin still looks clean and ready to be used as well yeah now that we've you know comfortably sat in our chair and we are ready to have dinner um, the first thing you want to be aware of is your posture that you sit right in the chair like I just told you and then the next thing is to make sure that everything is in place so when they serve you the food you are not going to sit like this while eating we want to sit like this while eating and then when we are having a conversation in between the subject in between the the meals of course um then you can sit like this and have a discussion or a conversation and like this when you're eating so now that we have arrived at the restaurant or the fine dining uh, from your friends or friends friends we are sitting down uh, we make sure that we put our phone on silence all right um, whatever is going on on your phone you can check it out later but make sure that before if you're the kind of person who likes to capture the moment if you're the kind of person who likes to you know um go on social media we live in 2022 so every, everything is just you know on social media if you're the kind of person just like me who love 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 enjoying things visually you make sure that you take pictures before everybody has arrived or uh before everybody eats um, and then place it uh, place it in your purse in your uh, bag or uh, in your pocket don't let your phone be on the table it's not good manners and it's very distractive um, 
if I know that I am expecting a very important call, I will schedule it. So in between dinners, I would, you know, I would take the phone um, and go out calling. Sometimes when I do have my phone on the table, it's very rare because I really love to give my, you know, the person that I'm having dinner with the, my fully attention or the people that I am having a fine uh, dining with my fully attention. I just put it like this. If I know that we are a bunch of girl, girls and we're here to just celebrate just existing and being able to have fine dining and we want to take pictures of it I'll place my phone on the table with the face down so it doesn't disturb me and distract me from what I am doing because I know you know later on uh, the night we're going to take pictures and everything so it would just be annoying to take it in and out yeah so you place your phone in your bag now let me tell you something your bag shouldn't be on the floor there is actually a saying that uh it's that it, it brings bad bad luck to have your bag placed on the floor so most of the fanciest restaurant that you will visit uh fancy dining and all these things uh you find a little hanger for your bag right you know at the side of the table so you hang it there or most of the time it's right here uh behind your chair so you'll find a hanger and you can hang your bag behind your chair if there isn't such thing you can always I've learned a trick and this is a trick that I learned from my mom you place it behind your chair because like I start by saying I started this video with that you should sit upright and there should be space between you and the chair so you don't sit like this um, in your chair that's bad manners why are you sitting like this is is this your fa father's place is this your father's restaurant even in it, your father's restaurant you won't be sitting like this so you sit upright and you want to really like pay attention to what's going on you're present your body language is, should really say that you're present at the dinner so that's why that most of the time there is a little bit more space between you and the chair never really like sit like this or whatever if you're tired end the dinner early and go home stop sitting like this okay what no even at your friend's place you want to show some respect again people made an effort to you know organize this whole dinner for you and to be in your company and if you sit like somebody who's fed up it's not it's not respectable and it's not really nice um so sit upright and um and place your bag behind um behind your chair and for god's sake if there is no space between you and your chair or there is no hanger be that extra at the restaurant and ask for a stool for your your bag i, I i've done that before and it works um don't place it on the table because it's distracting again you don't want distracting uh, uh, pieces on the table uh, just for absolutely no reason it's distracting and it just ruins the whole um, you know fanciness of the table setting so place your bag behind your your chair uh, the next thing is the menu now um, if you are you know uh, at people's places houses and and then the, your friend have invited you over they will automatically let you know what you are going to have tonight and what kind of dishes that you will have so it's already set it's a three course meal it's a two course meal and that's what we are going to you know indulge in and they will tell you what kind of wines you're going to have so everything will be you know very much explained at your friend's place right now at a restaurant you get served a menu you you get a menu and there is you know all kinds of um, food that they serve at that particular restaurant now one thing I've noticed um, amongst a few people is that people will look at the menu and try to find something that they are familiar with and if they don't find it they will ask the waiter or the waitress like hey uh, do you have this and the waitress would be like no we don't serve that how about this no we don't serve hot potatoes or baked potatoes read the menu and if there is nothing there is something that you do not understand please ask 
ask what is this what can I expect what tastes that's that's actually a part of being a, a waitress I've been a waitress myself and I had to learn the menu to be able to explain the people who are ordering the food I was not a sommelier so I could not tell you anything about wine but the food I would know especially if you're lactose intolerant if you're allergic to something I should be able to be telling you so ask the waiter about what kind of food you're getting or what you're about to order don't ask the <laughs> Don't ask the restaurant whether they have a certain dish. I feel like it's so disrespectful when people really like uh, start asking about a particular dish and you look, you know, you, you see the waiter and the waitress there looking at each other like, what in the world? Like, what did the cat drag in this time? So have your manners, look at the menu, order the things that you feel you want to taste or you know that tastes really good and get that okay don't start asking about you know fried rice in you know in a french restaurant we come on okay let's not do that um 